Hey there, Amalia here with Karmic Kindness with today's Wonder Wednesday. And today's Wonder Wednesday is an interesting one. Whew, I can feel the energy rising within me already. It's around truth telling, fear, and lying. Not necessarily in that order. And so just curious, how did you feel when you heard me say those words? Was there a response or a reaction in your body? As I said them, I could feel it in my stomach. I could feel it in my heart. I could feel my body somewhat contracting and like pulling in. You know, I ref was reflecting on my life this morning and I realized that there is a huge theme of truth and telling the truth and lining up with truth in my life. Uh, the business I had before Karmic Kindness was called Verum Vita, which translated from the Latin is true life. And I changed my middle name to Satya, which means truth in Sanskrit. So it's a huge theme of my life and a huge energy that runs through my life, whether I'm consciously aware of it in each moment or not, but it's always there. It's like this, this undercurrent that's operating in the background and uh, I think it was a week ago time is so weird right now um, I had one of my soul sisters in town and we were playing a game uh, my soul sister Carol and me and my guy Misha were playing this game called where should we begin by Esther Perel uh, I have a link below if anyone's interested in purchasing one and it would sends a little a little love to me too so if you're at all called please use my link I would appreciate it and while we were playing this game basically there's a lot of different ways that you can play we just kind of made it up as we went along and it was just more of a conversation starter and a place of sharing and uh, connecting and the question on one of the cards that really struck a chord with each of us and one that we spent quite a long time discussing was it's not lying when. So I'm gonna leave that there for you for a second. So just contemplate that for a, for a moment for yourself. It's not lying when. And we each had our own thoughts, opinions, beliefs around this. So like I said, truth is a huge theme in my life. It's, it's something that's really important to me. And being truthful with myself, being truthful with people that I engage with, living a life that's based on the truth of who I am and what I like to create and what I'm here to do. And we can't always do that. I mean, that's not always possible because there's, and this is a whole other topic of conversation, but we can, we can get sidelined by fear. We can be sidetracked by this desire to tell the truth, but not actually know what that truth is and so we're inadvertently maybe being dishonest or lying uh you know here this is often talked about uh the gal is getting ready to go out to dinner with her guy and she asks him how do i look do i look fat and he says no but in reality it probably isn't the most flattering outfit that she has on and maybe she doesn't look her best but he doesn't want to hurt her feelings he doesn't want to create a whole big thing so he says you look great baby and is that lying? Yeah, but is it for a good reason? You don't want someone's feelings to be hurt. Okay, is that justifiable lying? Um, what about om lying by omission? Not saying something. Not, not replying. So let's just say... Um, you're in a, a circle of people and someone is sharing um, a story and you totally disagree. It, it, it does does not align with you at all. You feel like the action that they took was, was, um, was not in integrity. And they say to the group, the person says to the group, you know what I mean? And you just stay silent, you know, or do you, you know, you get it. You know what I'm talking about. And, you say nothing. Is that lying by not speaking your truth in that moment, even if it can cause uh, a conflict with someone else? Um, 
we talked about also, and, and because this was something that, that is very resonant with me from my experience that I share in uh, my upcoming book, We To Me. I know some of you may have heard me talk about this. Um, it's taking me a little longer than I thought to finalize it because it is, it's such a, it's such a sensitive and uh, important topic for me. Um, but it's coming, it's coming, it's, it's in the works. Um, you know, talking about infidelity. So let's just say that you know that your friend's husband is having an affair. Do you tell your friend or do you stay quiet? And that was one that really got the three of us talking about what would you do? And, you know, kind of our consensus was it depends on the situation. It depends on um, the couple. It depends on so many different factors as to whether or not we would say something. And I know when I was in yoga teacher training, this also came up with discussing the yamas and nayamas, satya being one of the, one of the yamas. And when we were talking about this in our class, it was the same scenario and the same um, idea. And the main theme in class was, it's none of your business, you don't say anything. And, you know, that was connected to different, different um, beliefs within the uh, yogic tradition. And I, I really had to sit with that for a while and feel into what I want to know. What is it my place to tell someone else? Um, is that lying by not saying something? And I don't have an answer to this, everyone. <laughs> so if you're looking for an answer for me on this, I don't know. I'm just wondering for you what your thoughts are. What experiences have you had when it comes to it's not lying when blank. And you know, for me, and this is the truth for me, I'm going to change it a little bit. So for me, being truthful and honest is being loving and kind in that moment and honoring what I need and what that other person needs and being in integrity as often as possible and giving myself grace when I fuck up and I don't say something when I have an opportunity to, or I do say something when it might have been better to wait or to not say it at all. And so it feels to me like truth and truth telling is all about being in integrity with yourself honoring what feels in in alignment in that moment for everyone involved and giving yourself grace in those moments when we maybe screw up and we tell that white lie or we omit something because it doesn't feel safe or doesn't feel resonant to say it in that moment. So, as always, please do share with someone you think may benefit. And this is a great, a great game, a great place to get to know people better, a great place to connect with your partner better, with your friends, to open up a dialogue around topics that you may not think about or that may really need to come to the surface, but there wasn't an avenue or a channel to do that. Um, if you're looking for relationship support, please reach out to myself or someone that can help you and guide you based on their experiences and their wisdom. Um, I look at relationships through the lens of spiritual sciences and my channel of intuitive knowing, um, and of course, my, my experiences. So be on the lookout for We To Me. Um, continue to follow here. Please do share. And remember, we learn from one another. So leave your comments, leave your questions, um, share your stories. Yeah, so much, so much wisdom that we can share with each other.